Okay, so today I have three new CJRB knives to check out for the first time and a new artisan model. So let's get to so it. So the first one we're gonna check out is the CJRB Mini Pyrite. This thing is so tiny and compact, but it's actually really good. Like surprisingly good, super snappy thumb stud action. I like that um, the lanyard hole, uh, how it's like a copper color. Um, I'm not sure if it actually is copper or brass, but it looks really cool. And then you have a bunch of milling on the inside because it does have steel liners, but the outside is all aluminum. Then we have the ARRPM9 steel. Um, so if you like little compact knives, this one's, another thing, this is very clicky. If you listen, It feels very clicky, like the detent feels nice, um, nice strong lockup, but yet still very smooth on the drop. Yeah, man, uh, CJRB and Artisan have been very impressive the past, you know, year or so. Pretty much the past year. I mean, they were really good before that, but it seems like they've really fine-tuned a lot of things, you know. You know, all companies are going to have their lemons and things like that, but they've been doing a really good job. We do have a reversible deep carry clip. You know, the clip is just a basic budget clip, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's very simplest, sim simple, <laughs> and uh, it works. You know, it's a functional clip, um, not the most stylish. Um, I do kind of wish it did kind of match the green, but, you know, it's cool. Let's check out the next one. Now, this next one I really, really like because it has the hole deployment, and, man, is it fidgy. It has a really cool sound, too. Not sure if that's coming over the mic, but it is very snappy. It has a little bit of a ting, and, and yeah, super snappy, like surprisingly snappy. Um, but... Just a little sheep's foot or whatever blade shape you want to call it. It's kind of a, a drop point sheep's foot combination. Um, a modified blade shape. You can pretty much call any blade shape a modified blade shape. But this, in this case, we have black aluminum scales and with a whole blade instead of the thumb studs. Now, the thing is, is you can't really thumb flick it. You can, but it's, yeah, you can. You want to kind of just go straight up, but the reverse flick is money. Um, let's check out the left hand because I know the, the clip. Oh, that was my fault. Yeah, it works just fine. You got you got to be careful not to uh, touch the the button, but I have no problem with it. You know, I'm barely, I'm just lightly letting my hand touch the button and, you know, it's fine um, because it does have a reversible deep carry clip. So yeah, this one, I mean, it's super compact, but talk about a little utility blade. Super thin geometry, came with a really good edge, very, very sharp, beautiful geometry. You know, if you did need to slice through something, this thing's gonna slice through like butter. And because of its compact nature, you can manipulate it all, like very well. You know, from like detailed utility cuts to say going on the seams of boxes and opening it up, it takes nothing to change positions with a little tiny grip like this. So yeah, this one is really, really cool. Um, this is probably my, this is my favorite so far. By the way, same blade steel, ARRPM9 steel, same everything, aluminum handles with, you know, the steel liners and, you know, the, the stainless steel deep carry pocket clip that is reversible. So just a heads up guys, Artisan and CJRB are doing a sale at the end of the month from October 30th till November 2nd. They're going to have some models up to 50% off and then other models are going to be like, you know, 10, 12, 13% off, something like that. Um, now, as far as the brand new stuff, the brand new stuff's not going to be for sale, but some of their recent models are going to be like the large pyrite and things like that. But I'm sure I will remind you guys again. I just figured I'd give you guys a heads up. Let's get back to the video. The next one is just like the green one, just a pink one. So, you know, it's kind of for, you know, the lady in your life, unless if you really, really like hot pink. So um, just the same, very snappy action, great detent, very clicky. Listen to that. It's just super clicky, which, you know, it is satisfying in its own way, but again, you know, it's going to be a super useful blade for, for, you know, basically anything EDC related, as long as it's light duty. I do kind of think this one's a little bit more useful for the blade shape and it is a bit smaller. 
Um, it's weird. I like the smallest one the best. Um, it just, man, this thing is just so compact. You know, it's a cool little razor. Now, this is really cool, too, and you're going to be able to use it pretty much the exact same way. So it's more of just a preference thing. But, uh, but yeah, this little guy, man, it's kind of like, it kind of reminds me of like... Um, like a little dragonfly or something, or, or, you know, like a mini chaparral or something. I don't know. You know, I guess more like a dragonfly. But let's check out the next one, which is the star of the show. And next is the satire, the artisan satire. I got some schmuck on the blade. Sorry, guys. But it's got a beautiful, almost a mirror satin. Like, it's a very fine satin. Like, you can see me right here, right? It's almost a mirror, but but it definitely is a satin. It's just a super duper fine satin. Then we have a micro milled titanium frame lock. You can hear and feel the micro milling. And it, like I said, it has S90V blade steel. Uh, I'm not sure if I said that yet, but S90V, which is awesome. Um, heck of a super steel. It's slim. It is one thing you know to try off the bat, but it's broad enough to where it's very comfortable in the hand. It is something, you know, you can kind of bear down on a little bit. Now, you know, it's not, you know, going to be a hard use knife or anything like that, but, you know, it's something you could be, you know, a little bit more uh, slicier with. It's going to be a little more comfortable. And this full flat grind is nice and thin behind the edge. Decently thin blade stock. Uh, so, yeah, this thing's pretty dope. It's got good access to the lock bar. Um, let's check the drop. Very smooth on the drop. Detent is good. Solid detent. Um, I'll just say that the whole, it's easy to use. It's very easy to use. I can use it with the, my skin or my fingernail. So that, so that's a good sign. It almost feels a little small though. Um, but it's good. So for a small hole deployment, it actually works really, really good. Um, so no complaints there. Titanium mill pocket clip, it does land on this lock bar. I'm not sure how that's gonna be. So as far as the clip goes, the clip works great. It, it seems like it's gonna be a little bit small for this full-size knife, but it works great. And now the pocket, nice and smooth, and it holds on you know, decently well. Um, and then you know, being compact like it is, the, the clip, it's actually really comfortable in the hand. You don't feel it at all. It does have internal stop pins, which I appreciate. And, you know, as far as like little nitpicks and stuff, the one thing, you know, is the sharpening tool and plunge grind could be a lot better. Ah, you know, it's just, it's so close to it. You're going to hit the plunge grind, especially after the first sharpening. If not by the first sharpening, uh, just depends on how low you put your angle. So I'd appreciate, you know, a bigger choil or, or just a separation of the end of the plunge grind from the edge. Now that's not going to stop it from being a functional tool, but you know, it just can, you know, it can look a little messy after a couple sharpenings and it doesn't look the best. So, you know, it, it's not that big of a deal. And you know, that's kind of a small nitpick. And since it is an internal stop pin, you could always add in a choil. So this one's actually a pretty good one considering you can just add in a finger. You can add in whatever type of choil you want because it's an internal stop pin. Um, now, the S90V fine satin blade is going to take fingerprints. It's just the nature of a satin like this. It is such a fine satin that it's, like I said, it's almost like a mirror polish. You know, you can you can see the camera right there. Um, so, you know, it is... Uh, it is what it is, you know, if you want a nice fine satin like that, one thing it's gonna do is it'll be probably a little bit easier to clean and it'll pass through materials a little bit better because the surface is very slick and very smooth. But all in all, man, very, very cool. And I gotta say, man, I still, you know, all these knives are great and I really like, obviously, you know, I'm a titanium whore, so I obviously love this one. Um, it's not gonna be a lefty friendly knife though. I can do it if I put my thumb right there on the spine, but, it's not the most lefty friendly. It's more of a, a righty friendly, but this little guy though, this is really cool. Um, I'm, I'm digging this little guy. Anyways, work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.